Hello everyone, welcome to this new video by Simply Learn. In this video, we will see how to use Google Keyword Planner. But before we begin, consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Learn. Keyword research is a process of identifying the words and phrases that people use to search for information, products, or services online. This research is critical for optimizing a website's content, ensuring it appears in search engine result pages, also known as SERPs, for relevant queries. There are various tools to obtain keywords, out of which one is Keyword Planner, which is widely used among the digital marketers. Keyword Planner is a tool provided by Google Ads that allows marketers to research and analyze potential keywords for their campaigns. It provides valuable data such as search volume, competition, and suggested bid estimates for each keyword. This information helps marketers to determine the best keywords to target, allowing them to create more effective content and ads that attract relevant traffic to their website. So take a minute. If you are looking to become a successful digital marketer, then Simply Learn's postgraduate program in digital marketing is the right choice for you. You will be benefited with a detailed understanding of search engine optimization, content marketing, web analytics, keyword management and research, website management and optimization, URL management, search psychology, keyword organization and match types, keyword research, advanced ad features and more. Not only these skills, but you will also learn the number of tools like SE Ranking, Hootsuite, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, Google Ads, Keyword Planner and much more. So hurry up and find the course link in the description box for more details. Our learners have experienced huge success in their career. Listen to their experience. Find the Simply Learn's course reviews link in the description box. So without any further ado, let's begin and start understanding how to use Google Keyword Planner. How to do a proper keyword research. So we looked at Google's Keyword Planner tool in Google Ads and we typed in two keywords and we were able to get a sense of what the average volume is. So we definitely want to choose keywords based on the following factors. We want to choose it based on search volume. Search volume is a good indicator of the potential traffic we can obtain. So again for the keyword homemade pizza dough recipe we know that it averages 2400 a month and search volume again we may not get all 2400 but we're gonna get a lion's share of that we also need to look at competition and so Google's keyword planner gives us a high medium or low in terms of the competition but if you're somebody who wants to get a, a better sense of what the competition is and you should because competition is a key component in choosing keywords and so what I want to do is get a sense of how many people are actually optimizing for that keyword so so Google's keyword planner tool is going to give me a low, medium, high. Really what I want to do is get a better sense of that numerically. So what I can do is go into Google's search and I could type in pizza recipes and I could see there's about 1 billion results. That's a lot of results. However, that means that every potential web page out there on the internet that mentions pizza recipes is going to be included in this number here. And so I want to get a better sense of who's optimizing for pizza recipes. So I'm going to put in the all in title syntax. And so what that is going to ask Google to do is tell me all the websites that have pizza recipes, the keyword pizza recipes in the title tag. So if I do all in title colon space, than pizza recipes, my result drops down to 336,000. So what that tells me is that there are 336,000 results with the keyword pizza recipes in the title tag. Now, if I wanna focus in on my other keyword, if I choose uh, my other keyword was a longer tail keyword, homemade pizza dough recipe. So if I type that keyword in, the homemade pizza dough recipe or recipes remember close variants and I just click enter or type the keyword in and hit my enter key 
I'm gonna get 35 million results. But again, is that really an indicator of the type of competition I have? No, because every listing that mentions homemade pizza dough recipes is going to be included in the search results. So I'm gonna type in my all in title, colon, space, and then I'm gonna get a better sense of how many websites have the keyword homemade pizza dough recipes in the title tag. And I get 2,160 different results. So here I can see the first result in the title tag, homemade pizza dough recipe. Second one, homemade pizza dough recipe. So these are sites or web pages that have that keyword in the title tag. So now I have a numerical number to work with. And so the thing you have to understand about SEO, specifically about keyword research, is you need to do research on a few different keywords, not just one or two. So what we wanna do is have a spreadsheet. The spreadsheet is going to contain keywords that we can potentially want to optimize for, choose as keywords to optimize for SEO. And so my recommendation is you come up with a theme first. So the theme for us in this exercise is pizza recipes. And so that's our theme. So we chose the keyword pizza recipes. So the close variance here is pizza recipe. What was the volume? Well, we know the volume was 33,100 for pizza recipe. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna put that number in, in our volume column. What was the competition? Well, if we go back and type in pizza recipes, it was 683,000. So I'm gonna type in 683,000. What was our next keyword? Well, it was pizza or homemade pizza dough recipes. So if I go back for this particular keyword is 2400. So I'm gonna put 2400 in under my volume column. And then what was my competition? Well, my competition was, I type that keyword back in, 2160. So I'm gonna put 2160. So now I have an idea of what kind of volume and what kind of competition I have. Now, you wanna do this for a number of different keywords. And when you do it for a number of keywords, what you do want to do is obviously choose a relevant keyword that has high volume and low competition. So another way of saying it is the volume or ratio of volume to competition. And so basically what we could do is take volume divided by competition. And if I make that a percentage, I could see it's 0.35% is the ratio between volume and competition. If I do the same for my longer tail keyword, 2400 divided by 2160, I can see that 111%. So this just just kind of proves the point that, yeah, I'm still gonna get some volume, but I have a better chance of ranking for this longer tier keyword, homemade pizza dough recipes. So you wanna be able to do that for a number of keywords and examine the volume, the competition, and the ratio between volume and competition for your themed keywords. In this case, pizza recipes. So relevancy, you wanna choose keywords that are very relevant to the content that you're writing. And then again, commercial intent, what keywords are gonna drive more conversions and revenue for the business. So when we talk about commercial intent, we're talking about, you know, are you choosing keywords that are going to get somebody to do what you want them to do? So we could say, you know, download pizza dough recipes. So if somebody's typing in the keyword, download pizza dough recipes, then chances are they're gonna find you, come to your site and take action by downloading that pizza dough recipe. So you wanna be able to also think about the intent of the keyword. Is it going to help you drive conversions and revenue if you're an e-commerce site? So search volume is the average monthly search volume made for a particular keyword and phrase. So we can get that number using Google's keyword planner tool in the Google Ads platform. We want to target keywords with high search volume that will help bring traffic to the website. We want volume, but we want to take into account seasonality as well. So that's where the Google's keyword planner tool comes in place because if we go back, again, we can just hover over and we can get a sense of any particular trend going on or seasonality. So for example, if I saw large growth in the winter months and not much volume growth in the summer months, then that might indicate to me that this keyword is more popular during the winter time. So pay attention to the graphs that you know the Keyword Planner tool gives you. Use them to your advantage.
advantage to take into account seasonality. So a good example would be funny Halloween costumes. Well, we know that for Halloween, you're going to have a spike probably towards the end of September, all the way through October, and then it's going to drop after October 31st, which is Halloween. So that's an example. But in the case of pizza recipes, you know, you may find that more people are, are choosing to search for pizza recipes during maybe the summer months versus the winter months. So pay attention to seasonality. It will affect search volume. So competition, based on our example, it's one of the most important key metrics. You don't wanna choose a keyword that's highly competitive because if it's competitive, then it's going to be harder to rank number one or even on page one of Google, depending on competitive it is. So high search volume, low competition. In other words, the ratio between the two is the ideal combination. So going back to the spreadsheet, recommend you have that spreadsheet handy. Put your theme in place, okay? Theme pizza recipes. We use Google's keyword planner tool to find the volume. We use the all in title syntax to find the competition. So we entered both of those numbers in and we get our ratio. And so when you have these numbers for a number of different keywords, you want to be able to choose that ratio of high volume, low competition, but always relevancy always trumps ratio. So always go with a keyword that is going to be relevant to your content. Don't choose a keyword that's not relevant. If you choose a keyword that's not relevant, it's not going to bode well for user engagement. So the difficulty of a keyword ranges from zero to 100 in Google's keyword tool. So it's going to be easy. It's going to be medium. It's going to be hard. But my recommendation is also to get the numerical factor, and that's the all in title syntax. And again, relevancy is what drives the traffic to your website and keep the traffic there on your website. And also, not only will it keep the traffic on your website, but hopefully get that traffic to engage and convert. So that's the key about relevancy. You always want to choose keywords that are relevant to your content, even if it's sacrificing volume. Relevancy, again, trumps volume and competition. So always choose relevant keywords first. So when you do that, you're always almost guaranteeing that at some point somebody's going to find your content because somebody out there might be looking for it. And if they do, you're going to get found and then the engagement's going to be better. So understand your business, find keywords that are relevant to your business, and then focus on those keywords. That'll help you with getting the right traffic to your site. Always keep in mind the commercial intent. So these keywords are more specific and result in conversion rate. For example, buying is a good commercial intent keyword. So if you really want somebody to come to your website and buy, then focus on those types of keywords. In the case of the pizza recipes, maybe it's download could be our commercial intent keyword. Again, there may be low search volume, but those are the type of keywords you want to focus on because that's the type of traffic you want to drive to your site. So some other examples of commercial intent keywords are discount, deal, your coupon, shipping. You don't, don't be afraid to use some of these keywords as part of your longer tail keyword phrase. Again, the volume may not be high, but the traffic quality is probably gonna be better. So keyword research is the foundation for SEO. So if you have chosen your keywords properly, then if you do get ranked for those keywords, then it's going to lead to better engagement with some conversions. And so when we talk about keywords, we also wanna talk about our primary and secondary keywords. So every page should have at least a primary keyword and then a secondary keyword to work with. So primary keywords are really defining the nature of your content. The secondary keywords are relevant to the primary keyword. So why do we choose a primary and secondary keyword? because you may choose a keyword as a primary keyword that is relevant to the content but may not necessarily rank very high or have a lot of volume. That secondary keyword is also relevant to the primary keyword but also relevant to the content. And you may rank for that secondary keyword. So you always want to go with two keywords versus just one keyword. You want to give your, yourself a chance to rank for at least two different types of keywords of relevant nature. So for web page, there can be several secondary keywords but only one primary keyword so your primary keyword is always going to be relevant to the, your content secondary keywords can be relevant to the keyword but and you may have multiple secondary keywords 
but it's also going to be related to the content and it gives you a better opportunity to be found between both the primary and secondary in search. Okay, so let's take a look at another example of how to use primary keywords and secondary keywords when choosing keywords. So if our primary keyword is healthy diet plan, remember healthy diet plan is directly related to the content, so that's what we're talking about. But these secondary keywords are also related to content and play off the primary keyword. And so what we want to do is go to Google's Keyword Planner tool and get an idea of the volume for healthy diet plan and then also the volume and competition for some of these secondary keywords like healthy diet for weight loss, healthy diet food, low carb diet, healthy meal plans and diet plan weight loss. So if I go in to Google's Keyword Planner and type those keywords in, I'm going to choose get results. And now here I could see healthy diet plan keyword on focusing on as my primary keyword has an average monthly search volume of 9,900 and then some of my secondary keywords healthy diet foods diet plan weight loss low carb diet you know Google will give me a number of different keywords to work with so I'm going to look at the search volume of those as well and so ideally what I want to do is be able to then look at the volume and then look at the competition so healthy diet plan I go into my keyword analysis here that's my theme so that's my keyword what's my volume for healthy diet plan 9,900 what's my competition so my competition is 74,700 and that's going to give me a ratio of volume to competition of 13%. So that's what my content's about. That's a considered a short tail keyword because it has a lot of competition. And so my ratio is 13%. And what I want to do is I want to be able to put these other secondary keywords in here as well maybe even go to a little longer tail because I want to be able to find two key or at least two keywords. I want to be able to find my primary keyword that's relevant to my content and then I want to be able to find my secondary keyword which is again related to the primary keyword which is also related to the content. And so I want to be able to choose two keywords basically. And I want to choose two keywords that are relevant that have good ratio between volume and competition. So that's the whole idea again of how to do keyword research research you, you want to be able to find your keywords use the tools available to you and get a sense of what the volume is what the competition is look at the ratio between the volume and competition and then based on the content choose that primary keyword and then again based on the keyword you chose choose some secondary keywords as well because you want to be found for not just one keyword but multiple keywords so here we wrap up this topic how to use Google Keyword Planner if you like this video, share it with your family and friends and do not forget to subscribe to Simply Learn. Thanks for watching this video. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.